Hey you guys, I'm going to do a demo of drawing, I don't know if you can see it, let me see, of drawing this picture, um, just using our black paper and then um, the white charcoal pencil and the eraser, okay? Okay, so we have the paper in front of us and I'm just using the image on my phone. I begin with my white charcoal pencil and I just, I'm trying to draw in the item like we always do. I'm just trying to see it in terms of light and dark shapes. So I'm starting with the eye mask of the owl and the eye holes or the, yeah, the eyeballs of it and the beak and just the basic head of the shape. Sorry, the basic shape of the head. This video is being played at twice the normal speed. Just trying to find a way I can have the picture show up for you guys so you could see what I'm doing. Once the generals are there, like the general shapes, I'm gonna go back and make it a little more specific. So I'm just trying to add in some detail to the eyes. I'll do first one eye and then the other eye. I'm going to go in and add detail, like a little bit of detail, not a lot. And then I'm just going to add in the general light around here too. And I'm not going really dark at this stage because I'm still not quite sure that I'm correct. I'm going to try to block everything in and block in a light layer of the light and then look at it. So I'm really, con um, I'm really concentrating on that eye mask area. did one eye, now I'm moving on to the other eye, and I'm just trying to see that eyeball, and I'm trying to break it down into shapes of light and darkness. I'm measuring the eyes, I'm a little worried about it. And then there's a highlight on the eyeball, so I'm adding that in. Now we are drawing animals, so eventually I'm gonna have to worry about fur. But for right now, I'm just blocking in the shapes of the light and dark. So I'm not really thinking about fur texture or anything. I'm just concentrating on what's, what's in light and what's in shadow. So there's the mask, and then underneath the mask, there is this like, light well it's an area of shadow but it's still there it's like must be white fur and shadow so I'm just trying to put down a thin mark that I can go back and blend in but I have to keep it in my head that that eye mask is going to end up much lighter than any of these other marks and then I'm also cleaning up my old parts whenever I grab that pink thing that's my eraser I'm worried my page is, my hand is gonna smear the charcoal because it is a white charcoal pencil. So I'm using that black piece of paper just as something to lay my hand on. So I'm going down here and I'm just trying to build up some light layer in the shadow. And then I'm rubbing it with my finger to blend it. Now I feel pretty confident about what I've blocked in, so I'm going to start making it lighter. So I'm adding contrast, and because I'm using a white charcoal pencil, the only way I can add contrast is to make things lighter. So I'm just going back and I'm building up this uh, white by adding another layer and pressing a little bit harder this time now that I'm more confident. 
about where the lights should be. And now I'm starting to think about, okay, this is an animal. And so I'm making my strokes in the direction of the hair growth. And like by his beak, he's going to have finer hair. So I'll make little tiny strokes. So I'm doing two things at once. I'm concentrating on how light it should be and also the stroke mark. If that's too much to concentrate on, just go for the light. And we have time, we can build this up slowly. Now I'm just playing around with that stroke texture, trying to get that fur, the feathers, I guess, in this case. It's good to use a phone because you can zoom in and see detail. For this to show up, I have to go really light, so I just keep on blending in. Now I notice that it's starting to get too white, so I'm getting my eraser and adding in these areas of black shadow at the top of the beak. To add in those areas of black shadow, that just means I erase out my white. So it's kind of like a give and take, like I add white lines and then I use my eraser, I'm using it again, to erase back to the black paper. So instead of using a black pencil, I'm just using my eraser. Eventually I will use a black pencil. I'm not using a kneaded eraser on any of this, but I could be if I wanted to. The top of this owl's head has this like checkered pattern, so I'm kind of just making it up. Like I'm not following it really closely, I'm just putting something in there that mimics that mark. And then I know that I have to have this mark up there, but it has to be lighter. So I'm doing this with really light pressure. And I just keep on trying to work all over the head and not concentrating on one part. The idea is just like always, we're going to slowly get into the detail and make it correct by working a little over everything. I'm worried about the stroke mark here underneath the mask like by the beak so I keep on rubbing it with my finger to blend it out. The more charcoal though I have on it the easier it will be to blend out. It's a little difficult now because I have such little charcoal on it. And then also the head. Anytime I want to make the white not so apparent I rub it with my finger. If I really want to make it disappear though I would use a the eraser. keep on worrying. I'm worried about how black it should be by these eyes. And then I'm adding in some fine feathers that come down and curl by the beak. going to disappear so I'm trying to make the beak the bottom of the beak is like pure black I'm trying to make that appear by putting white a light layer of white around it and then 
in, I'm putting in something of the body. There's a there's the head and then there's a gap of black and then there's these white feathers. So I'm adding in the white feathers underneath the body, but I'm trying to keep that black gap in between. I'm not sure about the size of where this owl should be. So again, I'm trying to start light because this is a new area. I'm just trying to block it in and see how I like it. And if I like it, I'll go back and make it a little thicker white. Looks pretty good. like building up the white to add more contrast okay now I'm kind of doing something dangerous here I'm looking for a black charcoal pencil I found it I want to go into the eyes and add detail I say it's dangerous though because I don't want to get too carried away with this and have my white charcoal start smearing with my black charcoal so I'm trying to just use a little bit of black charcoal in the darkest parts. So it should only touch the black paper and it shouldn't really mess or submerge with the white charcoal. I make a big deal about it because you can go crazy and ruin your drawing. So be careful when you do this. But see how it does make the page a little bit darker than what I have. And it also lets me control where I'm putting that black. I'm gonna redefine the shape. It's like a little too pointed, this one, so I have to make it this eyeball a little more round. So I'm gonna switch off the white and the black. I'm just being the white and black charcoal pencils. But again, just use that black charcoal pencil only for details. Don't get too carried away with it. I'm looking more at that fur texture and just trying to get it well feather texture. So really what this page is going to end up being, it's a black piece of paper with a lot of white charcoal on it and there's just small little touches of the black charcoal. You could do it without the black charcoal. So. Okay, I'm still just doing the same thing. I'm just trying to um, alter, like figure out how light the light areas should be or how light, faintly light this shadow area should be. And then I used my eraser to lighten it. I mean to erase it, but it's still not dark enough. So I'm going back in and just adding touches of that black charcoal in that gap.
make this a little lighter. I'm just doing a short little quick motion um, for those feathers. Okay, there it is, you guys. So oh, I'm gonna clean up. Please take time to clean up your drawing. And there we are.